All right. Circuit Court in for Seminole County Court is open session. I'll be Deborah Nelson, Judge presiding. Please be seated. Good morning. Apparently, the court reporter didn't get the message to be here. We do have digital recording. Um, if you want to wait for a court reporter, I'll be in recess until they get here, or would you like to go forward with just the digital recording? The defense would waive any need for anything other than digital recording. So we'll say. Okay, thank you. And uh, for the record, we're here on State versus Zimmerman, case number 12, CF 1083A. Um, notice for hearing today are three motions. Which one would you like to go first? Uh, a number of matters. There are some housekeeping matters. You might be to those first. Yes. Um, orders to be entered and um, you know, at, at the risk of someone saying that I'm pandering you will decide a jury will decide whether or not a criminal event happened back on February 26 but today is Trayvon Martin's 18th birthday had he survived that and I uh, just want to recognize that because sometimes we get caught up in everything that we do and we lose fact to the sight of what happened that night and no matter what tragedy occurred and um, the Martin family has a, a special burden to bear today with that, I just wanted to mention that to the court and acknowledge it. Having said that, um, we do have a number of orders left, left over from the last hearing. Okay. The state only has a concern with one, and that is um, when we were last here, you um, ordered that they turn over a copy, what we call a digitally pure copy of the Witness 8 interview. They've accomplished that, but I still want the order entered ordering them to do that just for record purposes. So that's, I think, the only issue the state has. But with that caveat that they already have accomplished it, I would want that order entered. Any objections? That's correct. No objections. OK, thank you. Thank the you. other one is an order on demand for specific discovery to um, FBI. You would order that to Community Relations Services. You had ordered that. Any objection to the form? I have no objections. Just make sure that the record is clear that those parties were not noticed. That is, they didn't have an opportunity to respond to the, to the request. I understand the court, I believe, ordered or, or told Mr. Romero and Mr. West to go to FBI and go to those agencies and get the documents from those specific agencies. So as long as there's an understanding of what occurred in court, then I have no objection. I know the court said that those agencies must make those uh, 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 evidence available to the defense. I have not seen the orders. I was asking if you had any objection to the form of the order. No. Okay, thank you. I apologize. That's okay. As to the order of motion to compel additional discovery, you denied that. The order says that. Motion to modify conditions of release, you denied that. The order says that. Motion to take additional deposition of Investigator Irwin, you granted that. The, most, the order so states. And motion for clarification of order setting bail, you denied that. And the order so states. Um, and then there's the one order I'm going to put on top, which is just the order, if the court wishes to interlineate that it's been accomplished, whatever, if I might approach the court. 